welcome to From Shambles to Shambhala. And I'm Zia, and Sophie is around here somewhere. She might drop in on us for a minute. Just a really short intro this time. Really wanting to wish you a very happy new year and wishing you all the very best for 2021. And I don't know if you've noticed since the new year, since we've kind of stepped across that threshold of the holidays, but the quality of light that is coming through right now is just so beautiful and it literally just exquisite. I'm finding here in, in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, and I don't know if you've been noticing wherever you are, but uh, if you stick with us to the very end of the video, I'll include a little slideshow of some of the photos I've been taking outside. And you can just see that the, the light that's coming through is just, it's not like anything we've ever really seen before. It's absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to turn us over to Peter in a second for our update. And just also want to let you know, I'm not going to be on the video next month for February. I'm going to be taking some time off from the computer just to kind of reset myself and to, to spend more time out in nature and in that beautiful light that's coming through and preparing myself for this new year. But I will be back in March and of course Peter will be with you next month for the update and I will be working behind the scenes editing the video and getting it out to you on time and just wishing you all the best for this year and I'll see you again soon. Bye! Hi everyone, Happy New Year and welcome to 2021. I think when we look back on this year we'll see this first month of January as being a pretty intense start to the year and there are significant reasons for that one of which is uh, the sense that all of the timelines in our existence are all coming into this now moment. It's almost like it's a, a rocket fuel takeoff into the next level of our evolution and we're having to bring everything home and let everything from the old die away and, and, and let go. And that's what this, uh, this month has been about and continues to be. I just want to continue talking about the Saturn-Jupiter great conjunction from the solstice which I hope many of you saw back on the solstice December 21st. Saturn and Jupiter were precisely conjunct on that day, the great conjunction, the entry into the age of Aquarius at zero degrees, also in the 60th gene key of divine justice. So what has happened since then, Saturn and Jupiter have moved on, they're still conjunct and they've moved out of the 60th gene key and they were joined uh, in the next gene key by Mercury which moves much faster than the two of them. So back on January the 11th all three of them were conjunct in the 41st gene key which is the gene key that I want to talk about today. It's really really important. So if you think about the qualities of Saturn, Jupiter and Mercury, Mercury is about our thinking Jupiter is about expansion, Saturn is about our structure that we create in the world and our integrity. And this was all taking place in the 41st gene key which I'm going to explain in detail in a moment. From my perspective, the way I look at this, and there's the raven coming to join us, the way I look at this is Mercury now stepping into the new energies is a new way of thinking. Jupiter is the expansion of that new way of thinking and Saturn is the new structure that we are going to create in this new world of the age of Aquarius in full integrity. So that's the background and then what has happened is Saturn and Jupiter have continued to move through the 41st gene key, Mercury has now moved out and then on January the 21st there's this really interesting situation taking place where at this almost identical same time, around about 10 o'clock in the morning to noon on the 21st, Jupiter will move out of the 41st into the 19 and the Sun will move into the 41st gene key. Now the Sun entering the 41st gene key 
in the gene key transmission is considered to, the, to be the beginning of the new year because the 41st gene key is the only start code of all 64 keys. This is really important to understand that in our molecular biology if the 41st code isn't at the beginning of a sequence then that molecular process cannot take place. The 41st code which is ATG in our DNA is the, the, the note to let us know that we're starting off something new and then the sequences that follow are then kicked into action. So when the Sun moves into the 41st gene key there is this phenomenal opportunity for us to open the door into the next level of human evolution. Richard calls this the great cosmic start codon leading us into the new age which is this quantum leap up into a new frequency of being. And so there's this opportunity for about five days beginning on January 21st ran through Jan January 26 to take this action to actually start living our lives in this new energy and this is how divine intelligence is working it's absolutely fantastic and magnificent each of us that are consciously aware are setting our new intentions for the way in which we want to be in the new world the new world of freedom and each of our individual intentions are going to be different to each other but they all involve stepping into our freedom and so this new age of Aquarius is about the people so the people will decide what this world is going to be like so when you look at the individual intentions and then they become the collective intentions for our freedom in this new age so this energy beginning on the solstice right through to January 26 is about opening the door into this new level of existence living it now on the planet in the way in which we want it to be in the future this is the very beginning it's the rebirth into the new age of Aquarius so how do we do that how do we actually go about that well I'm standing here between two magnificent trees as you can see and what I'm suggesting we do is one of two things one is we can go into a meditation and we can just imagine stepping through this golden doorway into these new energies stepping into what we want the world to be like for us in the future that's one way the other way is to actually go out into nature as we are now and just imagine stepping through these portals these organic gateways into the new world stepping through these two guardian trees right in front of me and then just imagining that as you step through you're stepping into this new energy this new world Richard Rudd says in the 41st gene key that the next level of the grids of the planet are already in place waiting for us to connect with them and bring them into form and then he has this wonderful as Richard does wonderful line which is then we can download all manner of beautiful things from the morphogenetic field so in doing this work what we're wanting to do is to step through this doorway and connect with this next evolutionary grid to connect to the morphogenetic field and then you can download from that field whatever you want for yourself in this future life it's total freedom no restrictions no limitations and we start living it now on the inside which will then manifest on the outside now what's really interesting about this January 21st between 10 in the morning and noon is Jupiter moves out of the 41 as the Sun moves in it's almost like the Sun is taking the place of Jupiter in the 41st Saturn is still there but the Jupiter is moving into the 19th gene key which is the gene key which includes the greatest sensitivity that we have uh, towards nature uh, it is uh, the gene key that contains the quality of synesthesia and synesthesia is when our senses expand out to interconnect our senses together so we we have this um, greater uh, connection to nature and it comes to us in all sorts of different ways 
So while we have this opportunity to step through this gateway with the Sun and Saturn still in the 41st, we can also expand out our sensitivities in nature. This uh, 19th gene key is the position of the whisperer. And this can be the human whisperer, it can be the animal whisperer, it can be the tree whisperer, the plant whisperer. It can be our connection to source, to the great cosmos. cosmos. And, the, and Richard calls this the great cosmic start codon to trigger enlightenment in our world. So although these energies are so really intense right now, there's this fantastic, fabulous opportunity at the other end of the scale to really make this step through into these higher frequencies. And the only thing stopping us is our own lack of worth and our own inability to believe that we have this gift of stepping into these higher frequencies. And it's just waiting for us to step through and enjoy this time. And it's not about stepping through and dissolving and disappearing, it's about bringing these energies back into form. These energies, if you can imagine, are waiting for us to connect, tune in and bring them down into form on the planet. So we can actually start living the age of Aquarius in our lives today. So I wish you well and I hope that you will connect with this energy over the next few days, January 21st, between 10 and noon is when it starts, right through to January the 26th. And the more of us that do this, the faster this new age is going to come upon us. So I wish you well, have a great time, get out into nature and step through those organic portals.